Hi everyone, I'm back with another designing video. It's been a while since I actually make one, so I'm doing another voiceover. Um, today I'm making Tommy jeans, and the first thing that I'm doing is going in Photoshop and I'm using the spot heel brush, I believe, just to get those really hard um, spots that you, I don't know how to explain it, but like it's um, stuff you need to design basically, but sometimes you can't necessarily reach it because there's like, I don't know, a little thing. So over here, I'm like taking off or like editing, I don't know, I think you could like see it, but basically what I'm doing is editing this and adding basically more um, spaces for me to grab so I could have more space on my template and grab more of the outfit. And over here I'm editing the logo because it was a little slanted and I'm just making everything look nice once I paste it on the template. So it looks weird on the model, but once it's on the template it's gonna look nice. And as you can see over here, I also even recorded my face. I don't know why, but maybe you just want to see how I'm, I look when I record. I don't know. But over here, I'm pasting it on my template, and I do use Paint.net and Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop is really great for getting that really perfect um, design, but in Paint.net, I just feel like it's better to use the selections. I know it's a little bit more difficult, but I mean, you could be designing in Photoshop, but I just really like Paint.net. And, um... Yeah, I'm, I really like how this says toot right there, but I'm just editing like the weird parts. But these side angles, you don't really like necessarily see them, so I'm not worried about that. And then the back, I just edit out the logo and I make the pants look like they're not um, the front basically. And I was having trouble with um, the neck hole on this and it was because uh, I made the Tommy a little bit too high, but like at the end, oh my gosh, I'm sorry my dog, but at the end, I did like fix it and yeah, and then I'm doing the jeans and um, let me know what other videos you guys want me to make. I know somebody said they want me to make a speed design, so here I am making a speed design and maybe later I will also do a speed uh, GFX and also if you're wondering why I'm doing this weird thing with the zipper, it's because basically whatever is whatever is like at the bottom of the torso needs to match oh no like the top of the pants whatever is on the top of the pants the top of the knee like the little square that's on top of the pants it needs to match what is going yeah you know what I'm saying? it has to match basically or else it's gonna look weird once it's on the whole body and this neck hole did not work because it was too wide and I wanted I was gonna lower the Tommy jeans but I got a little bit lazy I just wanted to finish the design but um I hope that as you see me using the spot heel brush you get an idea of what I do and a lot of times people think they can't design something because it's too difficult well actually doing this method actually really opens up the um what am I saying? It really opens up the opportunity to make more clothing that might be a little bit more difficult. I made a lot of clothing that I thought I couldn't make. And just remember that sometimes the clothes that you think you can't make, it doesn't have to be exactly what you see. You make it into whatever you like. This one, I made it exactly how it was. I even added the socks and the converse and all that. But it doesn't really have to be like that. So don't always think it has to be like that. So make it however you want. And I had to shorten these pants a lot. Although I didn't really want to and I also had to shorten the shoes so they could fit and I could get the socks in. I was thinking of adding no socks but I wanted to stay true to that outfit because it would look nice and the domino fit matched correctly. <laughs> um, and it looks really nice with shading when I'm done. Um, the converse, not too much. I actually had to like lighten that up and making the socks over here. I should have really just made my own socks because I struggled over here but... Um, to be honest, it's just a small section, so, and there was only a small section that I had, so I really didn't mind just, like, editing that thing. And you can see over here, I did, did I make the shoes shorter already? I don't know, but over here, I'm <laughs> looking like a hard worker in the corner. But, um, this took me around 30 minutes, and, uh, um, I'm a person who likes to design quickly, I don't really like taking my time. It's been a while since I've actually been in Photoshop and doing this and that and that. And just look how that shading template gives it a BAM. Like that's what I was gonna say. Make your own shading templates and just reuse them. It's if you make them like good, I recommend you go on Google and search up um, clothing wrinkles, PNG, or like wrinkles from like um, a blanket and just edit those and make them your own. Put them on a template and just reuse them. Make it transparent and and reduce the opacity. And trust me, it's gonna save you in the long run. And um, you see these rough edges of the shirts. I like going over them with the erasers just so they look. Um, 
not as rough and I like making the drop shadow. It gives like a lot, it gives more detail. It looks like I tried and not just like slammed, copy and pasted on it. Cause it's not necessarily just copying and pasting. It's really, it's really like editing clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not just copying and pasting for people who say that. And um, I'm really happy by the way, by the way, with the, the way, sorry. It turned out here I am making another Nicola and it kind of came a little bit uneven, but it really added the aesthetic feel. And the video is ending, but I, it's hard for me to tell when it's going to end, but I'm almost done here and I'll show you what it looks like and I have a link for it in the description and uh, yeah, uh, we're not done yet. And there we are. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys soon.